get to. Big old hole right here. He's on the next ridge over. And there aren't any ridges that I can reach him from. I'm just going to have to try and call him across this. If I'm going to stay above it. Oh man, there's my first paint kit bird. Hang on a minute. Still, we all see my face. Whew, man, that was cool as crap. There was two big old birds. I didn't realize they was as close as they were. I come on camera just a second. A second ago, talking about how. I didn't think I'd get them across that bottom. They were already in the bottom. They just sounded further than they were because they was behind this little hill right here. This little bench. And uh this little bench right here. And it was just down below it. Whenever I got down there to where I could sit down and see to that edge. Man, they were right there. He gobbled, he was close. Oh, they gobbled. I seen them coming, I didn't have my my uh, red dot on. I had to turn it on, get my safety off. He's sitting there right in front of me. Golly, man, that's awesome. And on a Monday morning, that's cool. So maybe a two-year-old bird. Grab this other camera, I'll show y'all what he looks like. All right, there we go. So he's got maybe a, probably a nine inch beard, something like that. And with the old 20 gauge, oh, what was that? Maybe three quarter inch to an inch, something like that. So it looks like a two year old bird. I like them like that, they ain't quite as smart. It's easier for me to outsmart them when I got my IQ. <laughs> but guys, this is, the coolest thing about this hunt is this right here. I made this thing, man, it's been, it's probably been 10 years ago, I don't know. And for whatever reason, a few days ago, I saw it sitting there and decided to get it out and start practicing with it. I've never even tried to use one before. And after practicing a little bit, I got relatively decent at it and uh, decided to bring it this morning and see if I could kill a bird with it. And sure enough, first morning I bring it, that's what happens. But one cool thing about this is, I bet you that there ain't too many turkeys out here that's heard anything like this. Uh, a lot of it's because it doesn't sound anything like a turkey when I use it, <laughs> but I don't know with, with enough, I guess with enough practice, maybe I'll get as good as some of these guys I see online. Some folks using them are freaking crazy with them. I'm talking about sound like a like bird walking around. 
I don't sound real good with any of the turkey calls. But as long as I can get them to come to me, then I'll just keep on shooting at them. Well, let's haul this sucker up out of here. We all down in a hole. Man, it's going to be a, a hike on out. I hate that I didn't get any more footage than I did. Like I said, it, it's happened so fast that I really didn't have a whole lot of time to, to film anything. Uh, but anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all being here with me. And uh, y'all be sure to hit that like button. And if you hadn't already, make sure you subscribe. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all on the next video. Mm -hmm.